I was uh, expecting my daughter to be born in three months and I was working for a large construction company and I thought I'd be there for the rest of my life and yeah three months before she was born I got made redundant and uh, at that point I hit rock bottom I had no idea of how I was going to afford to even put a roof over our head and uh, I was in a lot of debt so um, when we were told we were going to be made redundant, all of the trades, the plumbers, the electricians, the carpenters that I'd been working with for the last couple of years, they weren't worried at all. Everyone that had a management role like myself um, had no idea what was going to happen next, uh, complete pandemonium and panic. So I'd been supervising electrical work in uh, the decent home scheme across all of London for the last couple of years. So I knew um, what electricians were about. I knew what they uh, did, the sort of day-to-day -day stuff that you do in, in that line of work. So that was the most appealing to me. I started to look at how I could possibly train to be an electrician. Normally you take three years and you do an apprenticeship. I had three months and I had very limited resources. So I went online. At the age I was, there was nothing available in terms of any kind of scholarships, um, funding. The only option I found originally was to go to my bank. I got rejected for um, any loans that I applied for because I was already in so much debt from university and credit cards, that kind of thing. So I had nowhere to turn to. I came across City and Guilds group bursaries. Um, this was literally uh, over 30, the only possible way out of this mess um, that I could see was to apply for a bursary for my course. I came in and uh, met uh, actually initially with two ladies that were part of the bursary scheme that then put my case forward to the panel. And I knew that they were um, they were res basically they were responsible for selling my story to st strangers that I'm never going to meet and it actually put me in a position where I really had to bear my soul and to really open up to them and tell them exactly the truth of my situation and being a, p a proud man at the time it was a really hard thing to do to acknowledge that you've gotten into this situation in life where you're in so much debt you can't borrow you've got no family you can ask no friends you can ask and you're about to become a responsible father um, with no job and no skills, I was scared to death. And I really conveyed that and the warmth and compassion that the interviewing ladies had for me was just fantastic. I couldn't really ask for more. It meant that I was able to be truthful and honest and authentic with them about how I've gotten into this situation and how I want to get out of this situation. When this letter arrived, um, I was expecting the same thing from every letter I've ever opened. That is rejection, sorry you haven't got the job, sorry we can't give you the loan. So this was the first time I have ever been shown any kindness and any good fortune and any luck um, from a company. and. It was fantastic. Getting that certificate, the level three certificate, saying I'm a fully qualified electrician was the proudest achievement of my life. And it's something that my daughter's proud of me of. She understands that I fix lights and she sees me and she sees my work and she absolutely loves and adores what I do. It gave me um, confidence as a father to be able to provide for my family. And this was all because of the bursary. So it's given me belief, belief in myself and that others can believe in me gives me so much, so thank you.